Study the right way. What is the best way to study? What are some things that you can do that will improve your actual mathematical study time? Now, there are all kinds of techniques out there that you can follow that will make you more effective at learning. There's techniques that say, you know, you study for a certain amount of time, you take a break and then you continue, etc. There's all kinds of fancy things. But in this video, we're going to focus on some core things that you can do that will make your study sessions a lot more effective. First, I'm going to read a brief email because this is basically a response to an email I received about studying. If you have any advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. The person's name is Nadim, and the subject is study. Hi, my name is Nadim. I'm 13, and I love everything, but I don't know how to study things. For example, I need to write down the words. I'm from a poor family, so I don't have the tools to study better. So I tried to search on the web, but nobody can help me. But one day I saw you and I think that you can help me. So how to study? And I also had a hard time to study because of my depression caused by poverty and my existential crisis. So goodbye. He puts depression in, in quotes. Thank you, Nadim, for your email. And yeah, I do have some tips that you can follow for you know, making your mathematical study sessions more effective. Now, I've talked about two different ways to study in the past. So there's like casual reading where you just kind of pick up a math book and you read through it, no pencil, no paper. And then there's careful reading where you pick up a math book with the pencil and paper and you work through it. So casual reading isn't going to make you a pro at, at anything. <laughs> so, because math is hard, if you pick up a math book and try to read it, you're going to get stuck over and over and over again, and you're just going to have to be content with not understanding and moving on, because otherwise you'll read the book, you'll get stuck, and you'll give up. There's a benefit to that because it's easier, right? It requires less effort, it's casual, and you kind of have to go into it with the mindset that you're not going to understand everything. So one strategy people use is if you know, you're taking a class and you have a book, you first do you know, some reading. You, you read casually, you read the entire chapter casually, you glance at everything, and when you're done reading, you're gonna realize that you're super confused and there's a bunch of stuff you don't know. So then what you do is you go back and you take a piece of paper and you take a pencil and you start over, you read it again. So that, that first reading is kinda like a, okay, this is what the chapter is about, these are all the things I don't understand. I'm super confused, but I do understand some of them. Then when you go back and do it again with a piece of paper and a pencil, that's when you kind of solidify those ideas. And even then, you're still not going to understand everything because math is hard. I mean, if it was easy, everyone would do it. Everyone would just learn math like that. People wouldn't have to go to school to learn math. Everyone would just self-study and everyone would be a math genius. But it's not that way. It takes an incredible amount of effort. So when you're going through with a piece of paper and a pencil, my advice, what I would do, and what I still do, is I write everything down. Yes, you write down the words. In some cases, you wanna write down more. Anytime there's a situation where you don't understand what's going on, you want to carefully write down everything there. For example, if there's an example that you don't get, write it down. If there's some concept you don't get, write it down. A good example, a concrete example, is probability theory, if you're studying probability. When you're studying probability, a lot of times, um, you know, you're trying to compute a probability. So for example, the probability of uh, rolling a three on a six-sided die. So that's the number of ways that you can roll a three divided by the number of ways that the die can land. So you can write that down in words, and I think that helps solidify your thinking. You know, when you, when you write things down in words like that, even conceptual things, it really, really helps you grow mathematically. I learned that from watching teachers do that, having some good teachers and being in that fortunate position to have those good teachers. And you try to learn what you can from, from each of your teachers. And you put it all together and you make that your own learning experience. So yes, Nadim, write everything down. I think that is great advice. Staying organized is also helpful. If you're a person that likes to be organized, 
that can make it more fun. So if you have like a notebook or just some paper that you can put together and keep in little collections, that's kind of fun. I have collections of notebooks filled with math problems and class notes from classes I've taught over the years. And I keep them fairly organized and it's nice to have them because I can go back and look at them if I ever want to refresh my knowledge or just do some math for fun. So yeah, those are some tips that you can follow to study more effectively. When you get to the homework, which is also part of studying, my advice is try to do as many as you can. Now, the problem with the homework is that in most books, you're not gonna have answers to all of the problems. So start by doing the exercises that you just have answers for. And then just move on because a lot of times not being able to check your answers is not great. Now, it's, it's good if you can do some of the problems that don't have answers and feel confident about them, but you know, moving on, I think, is, is a realistic thing to do. You, know, you, can, you, don't, you can move on. You don't have to learn everything in a chapter. I think the goal of an effective study session is to learn as much as possible in the time allotted. And I think doing these things, writing everything down, starting with a casual reading, then going to a careful reading where you write everything down, I think, I think that can make you a lot better, Nadine. Anyways, kind of a random video. I just wanted to make it quick and short. So yes, Nadim, write everything down and hopefully uh, this video has helped you. If anyone else has advice from Nadim, leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.